Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to use IPSEC to secure traffic between two computers on your network. And by default, IPSEC policies are not assigned. To create and assign IPSEC policies, go to your local computer policy using GP Edit. Under Security Settings for Computer Configuration, go to IPSEC Security Policies and you see that there are three policies by default on Windows Server 2003 which are not assigned. So in this tutorial I'm going to want to encrypt or require secure traffic to this particular server and by default this server is allowing unencrypted traffic to it. So if I go to a client on my network you will also see that on the client the IPSEC security policies are not assigned by default. So if I try to do a ping to my server, I am able to do that. The server is also running web HTTP server, so I can also access that through an unencrypted channel, as you can see here. And it is also a Telnet server, you can also access that unencrypted. So in order to encrypt them, I'm going to have to require security or request security on the server. So if I go back to the server under the IPSEC security policies, I can right click and, and assign the request security or right click and assign the require security for servers. The request is useful if you would like to fall back to an unsecure communication between the client and the server if the client does not support IPSEC or initiating IPSEC, IPSEC connections to the server. But in my case, I'm going to require security. If I go to properties on this policy, you will see that by default there are two filters on which this policy will apply. The first is all IP traffic. It is going to require security. The only exception is for ICMP traffic, such as pings, I'm going to permit that and the clients are not required to authenticate or encrypt any ICMP traffic to my server. But all other, all other IP, IP traffic will require security and authentication using Active Directory. So I'm going to right click on this policy and select Assign. And now let's try on the client to see if we can connect to this machine. Now as we said before the ping is not encrypted, it doesn't need to be encrypted as as we've seen in the policy so I should be able to access my server via pings. However, if I try any of the other types of network traffic such as a NetBIOS share, I'm unable to access that. If I try to access the website on that server I'm also unable to access that. If I try to do a telnet to my server, I'm also unable to do that because my client is by default not encrypting any of these type of traffic to the server. So in order to do that, I need to enable a client respond only policy. If I go properties on this policy, you will see that it would by enabling it, it would send a response to the server and authenticate itself using Kubros. And the default client respond only policy allows the client to secure the requested communications to the server. In this case, all IP traffic. So I'm going to right click on this policy and select a sign on this workstation. And now, if we try to telnet on the server, in fact we should do a GP update just to refresh the policy on this machine. And if we try to telnet again, we are able to telnet and if we refresh this web page we can once again access it this time because the encrypted authentication is taking place between the client and the server and the network traffic is being allowed. 
so the telnet screen comes up and if I go back to my server I can unassign this policy if I wish to by right clicking and selecting unassign server I can actually create a new policy so I'm going to go to create IP security policy I'm going to call it secure traffic and I'm not going to need the default response rule as I'm going to only require security for certain types of traffic such as pings. I'm going to click on add rule and I'm going to add ICMP. So this rule is going to apply to any traffic from any source to any destination for the protocol type ICMP and I'm going to select this filter and for that particular filter ICMP traffic I'm going to require security and this time instead of Active Directory Kubros I'm going to select to use a key string and the password is going to be test click on finish and press OK and I'm going to assign this policy now which only applies to ICMP traffic and so if I go back to my workstation and I try to ping my server you see that it is unable to do so because we've changed the authentication protocol to be using a pre-shared key instead of the default Active Directory Kerberos. So I'm going to right click on my client now, select create new IP security policy and I'm going to call it um, client response pre-share key I can see client response for secure traffic and I'm going to activate the default response rule click on next and I'm going to use the key string called test so now I can right click on this particular policy on the client and select a sign and then I can ping the silver or oh, before I do that let me run a GP update slash force I successfully get replies because I've enabled the pre-shared key if I change this pre-shared key to something else hit apply and run a GP update we see that we are still able to do it sometimes uh, if the GP update does not refresh that policy you may just need to restart the IPSEC service on the client so I'm going to right click here and select to restart the exact services which is done pretty quickly if I try to ping the server now I am not able to because of the incorrect appreciate key that I've entered so let me quickly re-enable that here to the correct setting 